I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about lesbian family building, five things you should know before your fertility visit. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist helping people build their families for over 15 years. This is a part of a series of lesbian family building videos that I'm doing. And this one, you're going to learn five important things to think about before your first fertility visit. So if you're in a same sex female couple, you know you're ready to start your family, you're planning to have a visit with a fertility clinic, you're gonna wanna watch this first because you want to think about these things before your visit. In the other videos I've worked on, I've got solid steps to think about as you're going through the process. And then another video on lessons learned in this process for me and my perspective as a fertility doctor and everything that I've learned. In this video, you're gonna walk away understanding how to find the right clinic for you. And I'll finish with a few questions you really wanna ask the clinic. Let's get started. Number one, you wanna find a clinic that is gonna care for you and your needs. Unfortunately, there's a history in the fertility community where same-sex couples have felt um, dismissed from clinics, even not allowed to have services done, felt discriminated against. It's getting less and less common. And it certainly does not happen at my clinic, Pacific Northwest Fertility here in Seattle, but it's common to feel vulnerable and nervous because you just don't know how the consult's gonna go. So you want to find a clinic with queer competent care. You want to leave feeling respected and you want to find a place that has the services that you need. One way to start is just look at their website and go to my clinic's website, Pacific Northwest Fertility. You see there's a whole section on LGBTQ plus family building. We have a whole center dedicated to it. And so it's a signal to say, I'm going to get good care here because they are open, they are dedicated, and they're thoughtful. Um, so that's one clue. Another is there's nothing like personal recommendations. So if you have friends that have sought services um, at a fertility clinic, ask them how it went. Did they feel cared for? There's nothing like a personal recommendation. Number two, think about your goals. So before that visit, what are your goals? You know, have you decided who's going to get pregnant? Do you both want to be pregnant at the same time? Do you want someone to go first? Do you want to do reciprocal IVF in which one person goes through IVF and the eggs are extracted? Embryos are created with donor sperm, and then the embryo is transferred to the other partner for pregnancy. So that's amazing. Maybe you want to do something more simple like donor sperm IUI, intrauterine insemination. So just think about your goals before the visit. Number three, think about your finances. So I think anybody that needs fertility services, it should be covered by insurance, but unfortunately insurance companies don't always agree with me. Um, there's not mandated coverage in every state. Um, and sometimes even when there is is fertility benefits um, through an insurance provider, sometimes there are limitations to that use, including for use with same-sex couples. This is changing, but sometimes there are limitations. And so it's just really important to figure out what your coverage is. So talk to your insurance provider, talk to your HR um, in your company, and then you could also ask the billing department in the fertility clinic because they can often help you um, get questions answered or help you understand what language to use, um, or maybe they've even had experience with your provider and can give you a clue as to what's covered and not covered. If you don't have coverage, there are many ways to find resources to help you build your family, including some fertility grants. And I encourage you to check out the nonprofit Baby Quest Fertility Grants. I happen to be a board member. In it's a wonderful, wonderful nonprofit that helps people build their families. Number four, think about your sperm source. Where are you going to get the sperm? Do you want to use a known donor? Do you want to get anonymous donor sperm from a sperm bank? Have you started looking through some sperm bank websites to kind of get a feel for the information that you get? Um, there's a lot of variety. There's a lot of options. Um, and it's really nice before that visit. If you have a feeling about what you where you're going to get your sperm, talk to the clinic. There are some patients that use known donor sperm. It's a little bit more of a complicated process and some testing and things like that. If that's really important to you. Then you want to make sure that your fertility clinic is okay with that process and what logistics, you know, they recommend or they require in order to make that happen for you. 
And finally, what are the questions you should ask at this visit? Here are five. Number one, what tests do you recommend? So I talk to my patients about good preconception care. You know, want to make sure that your thyroid is perfect before you try to conceive. You want to know blood type. You want to think about being immune to chickenpox and rubella. So certain things. And then I offer fertility testing to my same-sex female couples because we should know what the ovarian reserve is like. We should make sure anatomy is okay, that we're not missing variables that we can control. Doing fertility treatments takes time and resources. And it, I want to be thoughtful about testing before we start trying to make sure that we're not missing anything. There's pros and cons. And sometimes people want to try a few low tech inseminations before they do extensive testing. And so it's okay to talk about what your goals are and listen to what your doctor has to say too, and come to a mutual decision. Number two, think about the treatment options that are available at the clinic. If your goal is reciprocal IVF, you wanna make sure that that's an option in the clinic that you're going to. Number three, how am I gonna get further questions answered? That's like the number one question at a first time doctor's visit anywhere you go, because as soon as that doctor steps out of the room or cuts off the telemedicine visit, automatically I know I get like five more questions that pop into my head. So you wanna to talk to your doctor at that visit, like, hey, how do I get in touch with you or your team when further questions come up? Number four, just ask, how does the clinic work? Is it open every day? Like even on the weekends and on holidays, um, who does procedures, who, um, who you see for your visits, just nice to get a lot of information about how the clinic works and make sure that that's right for you. And number five, ask about next steps. Okay. We have a plan. Now, what do I do next? Do I call the clinic? Is the clinic going to call me? Remember you need to make sure to know how to get your questions answered. Just think about the next steps. Sometimes it's easy to kind of get overwhelmed and realize like, wow, I've just gotten a lot of information. The visit ends and then you sort of sit there and say, wait, I forgot, what do I do next? <laughs> so just make sure that that's really clear. So let's recap. What are the five things you should think about before your fertility visit? Number one, make sure it's the right clinic for you, where you're gonna feel respected and where the services that you need are provided. Number two, think about your goals. Who wants to get pregnant and when? Number three, think about your finances. Do a little research and know what questions you need answered. Number four, think about your sperm source. Do you know you want to use a known donor? Do you know you're going to go through a sperm bank? Um, think about that. You don't have to make a final decision, but just think about what your goals are for that. And number five, those questions that I had, take them with you to the visit so you remember. The questions are, what tests do you recommend? What treatment options do you have available for me? How do I get my questions answered? Logistics of how the clinic works. And number five, what are the next steps? I hope this video was helpful. Um, like this video, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.